and they're back with another video and in this video we're looking at a video game another wrestling game showcasing the 30 man battle royal every man for himself no friends only enemies for the shot of the title at Wrestlemania we're looking at WWF's 1993 Mega Drive game Royal Rumble WWF Royal Rumble was released in 1993 and was the sequel to the 1992 game Super Wrestlemania. The game was published by Acclaim Entertainment and was released for the Sega Mega Drive and Super Nintendo. Released at the very end of what WWE considered the Golden Age or the Federation era while a larger-than-life superhero-style wrestler such as Hulk Hogan and the Ultimate Warrior, four evil heel baddies such as the Million Dollar Man. Yeah, I think the best Royal Rumbles were around, like, for, from my perspective, 91, 92, 93, especially the first one that I've talked about before, 1991, where Hulk Hogan defeated Earthquake at the end, and 92 was well where it was for the title when Ric Flair won, when... Hulk Hogan's popularity was waning, like as a kid you don't understand it, but when you watch it as you get older, the crowd really turn on Hulk Hogan when Sid Justice pulls him out over and uh, it's really strange seeing how his popularity was waning at the time. And 93 as well when Yoko Zuna won it when I think Macho Man hit his head and didn't really know why it was when he went to pin Yoko Zuna and he threw him straight out the ring. The fun cover showcases this with five wrestlers, Hulk Hogan, Macho Man, Undertaker and Razor Ramon and Lex Luger who were both in the middle of their respective heel runs. The game improves on its predecessor and introduces the tug of war grapple system which was revolutionary at the time. The roster of wrestlers is a vast improvement as well with six superstars in the ring at once during the Royal Rumble really does make it a real Royal Rumble experience. There are also many other match types such as one on one, tag team, triple tag matches and also championship tournaments. The Mega Drive and Super Nintendo versions also had exclusive superstars with the Mega Drive having Hulk Hogan, IRS, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, the model Rick Martel and Papa Shango. As a wrestling fan, it's good to hear all of the wrestlers' music in 16-bit and with the bio of each wrestler, I think that's a good little touch considering when this was released, there was no internet at the time and it was difficult to find out information about wrestlers, so I thought that was a good little touch. All in all, it's a fun game to play and a good addition to the WWF 16-bit games. I really enjoyed the Attitude Royal Rumbles as well. I mean, Royal Rumble 99 is quite tough to watch now, especially when the, the Rock and Mankind's match, especially watching Beyond the Mat, realising the damage that was caused to Mick Foley. But the Royal Rumble was really cool. Vince McMahon won in it at the end. And the latest Rumbles are getting really good as well with Kofi Kingston doing the spot every year and they just seem to be getting better and better I always look forward to the Royal Rumble when it's coming on and that's that kind of thing where you get excited in January that the Rumble's going to be happening so yeah I've got a few other wrestling games that I want to review but I've really enjoyed the Royal Rumble one it was really fun doing the Royal Rumble seeing all the Golden Age characters moving on to the new generation and I think I've played the 2K games and I've did the rumble on those and I think this is the most enjoyable one I've played if I'm if I'm honest. But yeah, um join me soon where I'll be looking at some other WWF games from the time. I've got some obscure wrestling games as well that I'm gonna review, but if you liked it please let me know in the comments what you thought, what your favourite Royal Rumble was and what you thought of the wrestling then and compared to now I could talk about wrestling for like hours on end so I'd love to hear from you and if you like this wrestling content I think that it would like change my channel to be more wrestling orientated so let me know what you think but yeah 
hope to see you soon in another video.